Seinfeld was such a funny show. I'm going to go out with some Seinfeld clips. Here's some of the great. This is George, the episode where he took the clear out the trash. Oh, no, no, no. I'm fine. Let me help you with these dishes. Huh? Oh, no, George. You don't have to. No, I know I don't have to. I want to. <laughs> George, you are such a gentleman. I'd argue if I could, Mrs. Emery. <laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> He opens the trash and sees the clear, if you're just listening. You might know this episode. So good. So good. You find yourself in the kitchen. You see an eclair in the receptacle. And you think to yourself, what the hell? I'll just eat some trash. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was not trash. Was it in the trash? Yes. Then it was trash. <laughs> it wasn't down in. It was sort of on top. But it was in the cylinder. Above the rim. Adjacent to refuse is refuse. It was in a magazine, and it still had the doily on. Was it eaten? One little bite. <laughs> well? That's garbage. <laughs> but I know who took the bite. <laughs> it was her aunt. Well, you, my friend, have crossed the line that divides man and bum. <laughs> you are now a bum. <laughs> if you don't know Seinfeld, it might not be funny to you. But trust me, it, the, the show wouldn't even be able to... It's, it, it's going back at it so politically incorrect and so genius the freak thank you for the two dollars super chat great broadcast appreciate you uh, this is a, another seinfeld classic i've never seen hands like these before they're so <laughs> soft and milky white you know whose hands they remind me of ray mckigney oh ray he was it who, who was he the most exquisite hands you've ever seen. Oh, he had it all. What happened to him? <clears throat> <laughs> Tragic story, I'm afraid. He could have had any woman in the world, but none could match the beauty of his own hand. And that became his one true love. You mean, uh... Yes. He was not master of his domain. <laughs> but how... Uh... Uh, the muscles became so strained with overuse that eventually the hand locked into a deformed position and he was left with nothing but a claw. He traveled the world seeking a cure. Acupuncturists, herbalists, swamis... Nothing helped. Towards the end, his hands became so frozen, he was unable to manipulate utensils and was dependent on Cub Scouts to feed him. I hadn't seen another pair of hands like Ray McKegney's until today. You are his successor. I uh, only hope you have a little more self-control. You don't have to worry about me. I want a contest. <laughs> Master of your domain. Well, I'll tell you this, though. I am never doing that again. What? You mean in your mother's house or all together? All together. Oh, like, oh, oh give me yeah, a break. Right. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, you don't think I can? No chance. <laughs> you think you could? Well, I know I could hold out longer than you. Care to make it interesting? Sure, how much? Hundred dollars? You're on. Wait a second, wait a second. Count me in on this. You? Yeah. You'll be out before we get the check. Okay, one more. All right, now, how are we going to monitor this thing? Well, obviously, we all honor. know each other very well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all feel comfortable within the confines of the honor system. <laughs> all right. Good. 
But are you still master of your domain? I am king of the county. You? Lord of the manor. Oh, God. The question is, <laughs> are you still master of your domain? I'm queen of the castle. There's a naked woman across the street. <laughs> Where? Second floor from the top. See the window on the left? Uh, <laughs> this is going to be the easiest money I've ever made in my life. I'm out. I'm out. Me <laughs> too. I'm yelling at strangers on the street. You caved? It's over? You're out? Oh my god, the queen is dead. I figured you'd cruise, at least through the spring. They were progressively getting angrier and couldn't sleep. And then Kramer was asleep. Oh, my goodness. The double dip episode. Still talk about this all the time. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. So? That's like putting your whole mouth right in the dip. <laughs> Look, from now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it. There's no lies oh, there. I'm sorry, Timmy. <laughs> but I don't dip that way. Oh, you don't, huh? No. You dip the way you want to dip. <laughs> I'll dip the way I want to dip. Give me the chip. Hey, hey, hey. Give me <laughs> I'm going to be out on this hey, one George, here. Hi. This was one of the first episodes. I think this was... Talks. It was like this the first episode? Anytime we have a reservation for whatever, it's always like, you know, if it's dinner, whatever it is, and they don't hold it, this comes up every single time. I'm going to be out after this. Take care. Peace. When he talks, it sounds like he's reading from one of his novels. Can I help you? Name, please. Uh, Seinfeld. Uh, you made a reservation for a midsize, and she's a small. <laughs> I'm kidding around, of course. Yes. Um, okay, let's see here. 66 years old? Yeah, well, he's in perfect health. He works out. He's vibrant. You'd really like him. Why do people always say that? I hate everybody. Why would I like him? So what do you think? Could you go out with a 66-year-old woman? Well, I'll tell you. She would have to be really vibrant. <laughs> so vibrant, she'd be spinning. Oh, I'm sorry. We have no midsize available at the moment. I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Oh, yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. <laughs> but the reservation it's keeps it's the car so here. That's the point of the reservation. That's why you have the reservation. <laughs> I know why we have reservations. Oh, I no, don't you... think you do. <laughs> if you did, I'd have a car. <laughs> so you know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold <laughs> the reservation. And that's, that's really the... the most important part of the reservation, <laughs> the holding. Anybody can just take them. Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Uh. Thank you so much for watching this clip from the Morning Spice podcast. Link in the description with chapters to make it easy for you to navigate. All it is to get full access to those podcasts on YouTube is $1 a month membership to the channel. For those who are already members, Appreciate you. God, family, country, peace.